Hi, in this video I'm going to build basic electrical system which will be used to demonstrate the calculations and the report tabs. Starting from the home tab, let's create new project using our custom template. Press, press create. Now we're going to add a transformer as a supply, switchboard and three phase distribution board. Now I'm going to add three phase cable. Uh, as a supply, using my template, I'm gonna add basic circuits and explain the best way of doing so. We have a lighting circuit, single core cables, MCB type C breaker, rated 10 amps. And then we have some power circuits, which you can copy and paste. By the way, this template, the Excel spreadsheet, is a distribution board chart, which is able to perform basic load calculations. You can download and use it for yourself, it's free of charge, as long as you've registered. I'm going to move this uh, to my other screen so I can see better and start creating the circuits. Double click on the distribution board. Let's leave it that this board has 24 ways. Increase the window so we can see better. And I'm going to add first circuit. Double click on the text spare and then double click on the cable text. First, what we want to do is to is go non-standard for the circuit ID, include way, include phase, include connected from. Protection from our template, type C MCB. I remove the auto and select 10 amp. Let's say this will be a commercial site, so the lighting circuits are typically protected by 10 amp breakers. Cable ID. When you calculate the system and create reports, if you leave this as cable one, you will not be able to work out what the cable you're looking at. So the best way for the circuit name is to use non-standard and then include the final circuit reference. Do not type anything in, just leave it blank. Select the cable, single core thermoplastic. I will use the 90 degree, so I search for run 2 and then select single core LSF cable. The rating of the cable, the current carrying capacity is the same as the 70 degree cable. Method of installation is conduit or trunking, select trunking, horizontal, suspended, add the trunking is metal. Cable, I never use auto for my circuit, but if you want you can, but remember to fix the design. The available minimum cable size is 2.5. I think I've got cable size limit. The load is fixed equipment, single phase and neutral. If I change it to lighting and go back to my cable, now the minimum is set to 1.5 so I can change it. Design length. The lighting circuits are typically quite long. Let's do it as 55 meters. The rest you can leave as it is. Grouping, because the load is minimal, LED lighting, you may have 1.2 amps or less on the circuit. And here the cable carrying capacity is 17 amps. And if the circuit is grouped with other lighting circuits, the load is less than 30% of the cable capacity. So you can ignore grouping. CPC, remove auto and select 1.5. Let's go back to load. For the name, I will use the window here, name, because I've got inherit, the name is automatically copied over here. That is the correct way of naming. This is not domestic circuit, RCD is not required. Length to the first fitting, let's say 12 meters. Design current, let's say 1.2 amps. Power factor for LED lighting is 0 0.97. Diversity, industry benchmark for lighting is 0 0.7. SPD, there is no SPD and I am not going to display results. Press OK. I've got my lighting circuit. Let's say I've got a few of those lighting circuits. So either right click and go copy and then select another circuit by aiming for the text. Right click and paste. Or now I've got this in a memory. I can just go select the circuit and then press Ctrl V, which is paste. I've got my three lighting circuits. 
Let's imagine this distribution board is split metering, lighting and power board. Let's imagine the first four ways is lighting and power starts from 5L1. What I do now, I select the text, right click, split way. Now 5L1 is selected. I will press Ctrl V to paste lighting circuit. Double click on the text of the cable ID and based on my table, I'm going to create small power access control circuit here. I'll copy the name. I will use single core cables in trunking. So the cable type is correct. I'm going to just change its size. Grouping. This is power circuit run with other circuits in trunking. Let's say apply grouping of five. That will derate my cable to 0.6, 60%. CPC, I am changing it to 2.5. Load, the name of the load, I have it copied, so I just control V to paste. Oh, it doesn't fit. Let's try that here. Okay, because this window does not allow me to enter long text, I've changed my mind and I'm going to use the ID window instead. No, stop, stop, stop. Don't do this. This is bad idea because if you're going to leave the load name and, and use the ID field for that purpose, you will not be able to use into its full capacity the data entry tool, which allows you to make changes to multiple circuits at the same time. Let me give you an example. Okay, because I haven't got the name in my circuit, any circuit, that's the load. So you see I've got the ID of the load, but I haven't got the name. That's what's being displayed in here. So how can I find my socket? I'm going to change cable. It seems like the name would be useful. Okay, well, I've, so I've decided to go with ID as a reference for the load because you can enter more text which is not ideal because you can't now search for the name of the load. Because of what I showed you, do not use this ID field for name of the load. The correct strategy is this. Look, I just copy part of the text because it would not fit. I leave that blank so I have an ID referencing the circuit. I'm not gonna type anything there. What I'm gonna do instead, keep inherit and enter the text in here. So instead of small power, I'm going to say PWR access control. I don't need to say supply because it's obvious access control supply, right? So this is the correct naming. And look, when you press inherit, the name will be automatically copied over. That will allow you to use the full functionality of the data entry tool. Now, this will be access control supply. So the type of the circuit is different. Most likely it will end up with a spur, fuse connection unit. So I'm going to select fixed equipment, single phase and neutral. Lower the my circuit again from schedule. My load is four amps and 0 0.9 power factor. Apply this to my circuit. Diversity. If this is access control, it will not be diversified. So it's on all the time. Press OK. Let's create another circuit, 5L2. Small power fire alarm repeater panel. The cable type will be different. FP600S, 2.5 mil, 16 amp radial circuit. Load, 3 amps, 0 0.9 power factor. By the way, I've noticed that I forgot to change protection in 5L1, which need to be 16 amp MCB. I specifically don't want RCB on the circuit, on the security circuit. Now that's correct. I'm going to copy this circuit, Control C, select another one, press Control V. I'm going to adapt this to fit my new circuit. That's the quickest way of working. First of all, the circuit reference are correct. Cable references, correct. Cable type is not correct. I'm going to search for 600. Select FP600S. That's the fire rated cable rated one hour and it will be on perforated horizontal tray. Cable size 2.5, grouping six, depending on your installation. 
This is armored cable. I'm going to go for single phase supply. I will select the CPC to be integral and I'm going to calculate the armoring as an earth bath together with CPC. So instead of armor or separate, I go armor plus separate integral. And now the image below shows you that both earth paths will be taken into account during calculations. Right, so now we're gonna name it correctly. We already have inherit selected. I copy and paste my correct name, file and repeater panel, and that's already changed. That's good, thank you. Load, power factor 0 0.9, diversity is one. No SPD, that's it. Protection that is also 16 amp. Okay, now I'm going to create similar circuit. VESDA is fire alarm life safety circuit. It should be wired in fire rated cable. Copy the name. Copy the circuit. Double click, change name. And again, let's change the name in this field here. Copy and paste. Name automatically inherit the correct name. Load, four amps, power factor the same. Grouping the same. Cable type and method of installation the same. Okay, we are going to create another 16 amp circuit. But this time it will be LSF armored 4 mm square 16 amp commander socket for data rack. Based on my historical data, typical load of the data rack is 6.5 amps. This is based on the active equipment installed. Obviously it is project specific and it needs to be checked. Quickest way, copy that circuit, select this three phase circuit and paste. Now we ended up with three circuits. If you have repetitive circuits types, that's quite quick way of working. For now, I'm going to delete them and then double click on L1. Let's change its name first. Copy and paste, data rack, commander, uh, socket. There is no option of 16 amp. And if I select 20 amp and protect the circuit with 16 amp breaker, it will come up as an error. To overcome that problem, I will select fix equipment Single phase and neutral. Design current 6.52. Power factor 0 0.93. Diversity. Typically this equipment diversity will be 1. No SPD. But you may need SPD for such circuit. This is project specific. Protection, definitely not RCD. Okay, let's create some general purpose sockets. I'm going to create this radial and ring circuit, and then I create another fan coil ring circuit. Depending on the length of the circuit, the load may not be a problem, but the earth fault loop impedance could be. That's why sometimes we run ring circuits for fan coils. First, let's create typical radial socket circuit. I'm going to copy existing and paste. Rename it first. Let's update the name, general purpose socket, and I'm indicating that this is a radial circuit. General purpose sockets. This will be radial circuit 20 amp. RCD is required. It is not in dwelling, it is commercial but there is no risk assessment. I'm going to add protection. Change protection to type CRCBO, 30 milliamp, 20 amp. Cable, change it back to single, search for run, to select single core 90 degree, run to 70 degree. In trunking, horizontal, suspended, metal. Cable will be four millimeter square. CPC, four millimeter square. Grouping, Typically between 5 and 9, depends on the project, I select 5. Load, on commercial sites, it is calculated as 25 watts per square meter at rebus stage 3 and at detailed design stage, usually load is calculated as per number of points. Since this is general socket outlet and the connected load is unknown, based on my schedule, I will have load of 3.9 amps. 
power factor 0 0.9 and my diversity will be 0 0.2 no SPD protection is done okay I'm going to create ring circuit copy that paste double click change protection to 32 amp cable installation method is the same but I'm going to change size to 2.5 millimeters square grouping I'm going to leave it as is CPC I change it to 2.5 I don't want this in auto when the cable is too small I will get warning rather than thinking everything is all right not knowing or having control of the cable size okay this is a ring circuit let's change the name ring that will be automatically updated you can't see but it's updated ring circuit design current 9.2 amps power factor should be the same diversity 0 0.2 no SPD okay happy days now I'm going to create ring circuit for my fun coil units split way copy the circuit okay double click go to protection I'm going to change from RCBO to MCB. It needs to be 32 amp if you want to ring. Otherwise, the software will complain. There will be an error message because BS7671 have an example of a ring circuit and the ring circuit is protected by a 32 amp protected device. So that's what I'm going to do. But I don't want RCB on fan coils. Let's change the protection first type of the circuit is the same just changing length to say 87 meters this is the whole length of the cable not just one leg of the ring leave a grouping at 5 CPC 2.5 let's rename this it's not general socket it's fun coil it's a ring so I'm going to indicate that not a standard circuit but sometimes because of very long distances you may choose to use a ring circuits or fun coils type of the load if you want this software to calculate the circuit as a ring you have to leave this as ring and then RCD will be required in this case the only option to calculation without error is to select not in dwelling and documented risk assessment the other option is to run your fan coils as a radial circuit if you have the new version of the software this panel has slightly changed to align with new BS7671 so instead of not using dwelling you have used by instructed or skilled person or option to choose not in high risk residential buildings house in multiple occupation purpose-built student accommodation or care homes that's the change depending which version you have okay let's finish this the load will be 6.96 amps Power factor 0 0.86, no SPD. Happy days. So I created few typical circuits, which I can copy and paste. I can now copy this distribution board, select it together with the cable, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. You can see the numbers are automatically copied and changed. Go into distribution, go into circuits, double click. You see my circuits inherited the name of the distribution board and they have correct naming. This is the quickest way of working. Press OK. Now you are ready to calculate. Detailed calculation will be covered in separate video. What's important here is that before you proceed and carry on building your electrical system and perhaps copying and pasting existing DBs and the nested circuit, you possibly would copy and paste the errors. So what you want to do first is you want to calculate the circuits as they are. See the errors, deal with them. If there is no errors, happy days. If you have errors, fix the errors before you copy and paste it elsewhere. So you need to calculate first. Go to calculation tab and calculate. Only if you have no errors, copy and paste the circuit to all distribution board. Here I have an error with the submain cable and the two final circuits. So you see, if I copied and pasted the distribution board with these errors, I would then carry on the errors across 
and create more work for myself. So before you proceed and copy and paste to build the system, you may have a distribution board here, another one here. Before you do that and create yourself a lot of work and the need to deal with more errors, you want to fix the problems before you proceed. Okay, so please remember, good practice is to fix the problems before building the electrical system further. You can copy distribution boards with the circuits or you can copy individual circuits across distribution boards. That's why it is important to have a typical circuits created first because you can quickly copy them across, shuffle them, put them into correct ways and that's the quickest way of working. Okay, so the calculations will be covered in separate video. This was just introduction on how to create the system. Thank you very much for watching.